there is a new stealth AI model on open router which is being speculated as GPT-5 or maybe another model by OpenAI. But this model has 256,000 contacts and right now this model is absolutely free to use. You can just go to open router and start using this model absolutely for free. I'm using this model with client right now to test its performance and so far it has performed really well. I just created this high quality learning page using this model which looks like really professional. Also I was able to create a Rust project because if you don't know most of these top tier models are not really good at Rust. So this model was capable of creating like a Rust project and then I gave it like a task where I had to like create a to-do list app and then present that and run that inside CLI. So this model capable of doing that as well. So before we dive deep and test this model on various different coding tasks please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right so this model is available on open router right now. You can use you can use its chat interface from open router or you can just like create an API key and then use it with client. As I mentioned that this model right now is absolutely free to start so you can just like go to openrouter.ai and then you can sign up and then you can just like create an API key and then start using this model with client. So to create an API key just go to your API key section and then simply click on this create an API key and after that once your API key is created just go back to VS code and now just go to client. If you have not installed client just go to your extension section in here and from here you can just like look for client and we can just then simply click on install and download client. Once client is downloaded just go to your settings tab and from settings tab you can just choose this API provider from here and from API provider just choose open router and then paste your API key in here and then after that from the model section just choose open router slash horizon alpha. So this is the model that we're going to use right now. So as you can see this model does support images as well and it does support browser use as well. So now once everything is set up now we can just like give a command. Let's just ask it to create a 3D city simulator game create uh, so I'm going to give a very simple prompt create a 3d city simulator game press enter and now let's just see how this model performs so I did not mention a text track to create this 3d city simulator game so it is going to use 3gs to create this city simulator game 3gs is a library is a JavaScript library that we use to create like 3d environments not 3d environments actually but like 3d scenes in our JavaScript projects okay so apparently it has just completed this task it has created this 3d city simulator it will create procedural city with road grid sidewalk ground plane and varied height buildings all right so let's just run this project and after that we'll just like have a look at the code as well okay so right now you can see we cannot see anything so this is a simple like there is nothing I'll simply just click on reset. I cannot see anything. So right now I've just shared this screenshot in here and I've asked it that there is an issue. The project is not running properly. We, I think maybe index.html file is unable to load 3GS. So I think might be that that might be the issue. So it tried to fix that and now it just run this project again, but I can't see anything. So yeah, I can see the issue. The issue is access to script at this particular file from the original index.html null has been blocked by cause. Okay, fine. All right. So I can simply just like share this error which was showing in my console and then after that I can just like share it here and now it can fix that issue properly. So the browser is actually blocking this ES module import. So now what it will do, it will actually start a lightweight static server from this directory using Python. So this will open then another localhost URL and then we can actually show that in there. So let's just see, let's just open this localhost URL which is running on this port. I might change the browser as well to try this in Edge or any other browser. So same error. Let's just try this in Edge because whenever I run a WebGL project on Chrome, sometimes it shows any errors. Maybe in Firefox. I don't know if I have Firefox. Same issue in Firefox as well. So let me just check my console again and you can see there is this error. All right, fine. We are stuck with this error. Same issue cannot access. So I think I'll just copy this now paste that back. This is good that we are actually facing this error because this way we can see that if this model can solve this basic error or not. So maybe I can create a separate video where I can test this with Kimi K2 or maybe any other model out there. Okay, so fine. How to run? Okay, Python server. Okay, fine. Let's just run our Python server and then open this. Cool. Perfect. Amazing. So this model was able to solve that issue, fix that issue and you can see it has just like created this road grid and then it created this traffic system. By the way, being a Unity game developer, I'm ashamed of myself that I'm calling this a city simulator, whatever. But yeah, so yeah, this, these are like plain buildings without any texts because this is just directly coming out from a script. There is no texture files, there are no images files. So yeah, fine. So it was able to fix that issue, which is nice. Let me just see if I can 
disable the traffic we can see there if i just click on this and i am able to like disable the traffic so after that i can just turn on and off this day and night i can change the time in real time which is cool i can change the quality of these buildings overall so which is nice as well i can reset this city and then yeah it is cool so this model was a capable of fixing the issue which we are facing and then it was able to like then run this project on a on a local python server and then able to like run this project when we had that issue so i think maybe any other model will be able to do that but yeah still this model was able to come up with a different solution so that's cool so yeah, i just go ahead and give it a try right now this model is absolutely free to use so you can just like use it as much as you want with Klein. do let me know in comment section if this model is actually gpt5 there is gpt4.1 with 1 million contacts so i don't think so this model is gpt5 so i just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in comment section what you think about this model i'll see you next video bye bye